When I first entered the Army in um, 1982, I started off as a field artillery radar crewman, which the Department of Defense decided women should not be a part of that. So after two years, I was um, reclassified to a personnel specialist, and I did that for about four years. And after that, I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit more exciting, so I became a career counselor. I wanted to be a career counselor because I felt like I could, it would give me an opportunity to, to help the soldiers decide what they wanted to do, what type of career paths to do. And during that time, I was also in college myself, and I was majoring in human resources. So the two careers kind of mirrored each other. Um, it helped me with um, being able to understand people and why they chose the careers that they chose. And so that gave me an opportunity to, to help those people who didn't have a, a clue at what they wanted to do how to choose their career, so it made it a good job. I would have to say um, of all of my duty stations, Rock Island, Illinois was probably the best one. It was an arsenal, yes, it was a great duty station. Um, it was the Army's best kept secret. One, it was only four hours from home, so I could get to and from home really fast, being from St. Louis and you know, being right there in Illinois. But I think the best part mm -hmm. about it was that we were a really close-knit family. There were not a lot of soldiers there, probably maybe about 60 at the most, and the rest of the people that were there were civilians. So we kind of got to act like civilians for about seven years, so it was fun. I would probably say for me the prevailing thought was meeting Colin Powell. I got a chance to meet him in, in D.C. when I was at a conference, so I would probably say that that was, for me, was a great experience. And he was General Colin Powell at the time, so yes. I have been really involved. I've only been a Legionnaire for seven years, and in those seven years, I've probably been involved in everything, but more so membership, because I believe in what the organization does. I believe in the mission of the organization, so I feel like everyone, every veteran should know what the Legion does and how they can be a part. So I would probably say my biggest role has been you know, trying to get members, get other people to join the Legion. My Legion story is probably funnier than anyone else's, and, and it would probably be more if you could see it's a, a visual story. Um, I joined the Legion because there was a group of ladies standing by this sign that said tribute to women veterans, and it looked like a corset. Yeah, of course it. Yeah, underwear, I know. And so I was intrigued by that, so I walked over and I said, so what do you ladies do? And they said, we're the American Legion. I said, well, how can I join? I wanted a corset. I thought I was gonna get a corset if I joined to wear, and that's not what happened. <laughs> so, don't laugh. So that was my reason for joining, and everybody in the post teased me about that now, because I joined because I thought I was gonna get a corset. But actually, it wasn't a corset, it was a boot, which was turned face facing you and then there was a red high heel right behind it a set of pearls and a set of dog tags and the tribute to women veterans meant that they gave up their high heels and pearls for boots and dog tags so you know I saw it in a different way and I wanted to be a part of it and been there ever since and love it what I find satisfying about being a Legion member is because the Legion actually can impact one's life if they get involved and a lot of people don't see that until they actually get involved. So not only do I do the recruiting, but I try to get the individuals who I recruit involved. So once they get involved, they see how it impacts their life. So for me, that's satisfying because I know the mission will never end. I tell them about all the programs that the American Legion have, how great the American Legion is, um, that being involved will give them a sense of comradeship with other veterans, which a lot of veterans are missing by being out now. So um, I just tell them about all the programs and everything that the Legion has to offer.